Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. You know who I've got here. Mr. Jimmy, Miss Mandy from your 106.3 in the mornings. How are we? We're doing great. I'm so happy you're here. You've been up since 3 a.m.? Yeah, just 3.30. <laughs> it's Thursday. 3.30? Yeah. I was going to say, what time do you get up in the morning to start your show? Mostly about 3.30. Really? Mm -hmm. It depends on how many times we hit the snooze By button. By the time it gets to Friday, you usually snooze it till about 4, 4.15. So what time's the show on? Starting 7 or 6? 6. 6 a.m. Okay. So how much prep time do you take to get the show put together? Usually we prep about an hour and a half after the show every day and yeah. then about an hour before the show. Wow. Just to make sure every because things change on the daily, so yeah. if things that we wanted the day before I know, change right? always. So I find all our topics that we talk about the night before. Right. Then my producers in the morning just have to update everything because mm -hmm. it might something else may have happened. It's not like, like a twenty four hour news site. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah, broke Cardi out at two AM. She's moving. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Every fifteen minutes something new's coming on. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, you know, we've got that Kanye. One minute uh, he's got issues, the next he's not. No. He's a saint. Do you know what I mean? And like, then it's back to the issues. It's <laughs> yeah. back to the issues, exactly right. Hey, we were just saying, uh, Rhonda, our Good Day Kentucky producer, is helping us out on the show today. And with our weather, they had those little leaves, autumn leaves. But isn't it now officially winter? Nope. Not, yet. Oh. Not until December, what, 21st? 21st. I, well, I was going to say it is December, dude. Well, <laughs> I, I was thinking of the day, but yeah, 21st. Really? I, that's what we said. It's we been a like, winter for I like thought it was a December month. December 1. Why did I think that? Yeah, I, I thought it was winter, October I thought 1st. when the leaves were actually off the trees, yeah. it's winter. It should be. And that happened at before December. Yeah. It's like, a, well, that's, that's the unofficial official yeah, start of winter. I think so too. Hey everyone, more about, more radio stations. Have you heard this? I'm sure you've yes. talked about it. We but I want to get your opinions. Are no longer playing the song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. <laughs> While this is a temporary move for some, in Canada they are banning the tune, for good. This is because some people say it has predatory undertones, especially through the lens the current in the current Me Too movement. And add that there are plenty of other holiday songs to enjoy. Other people believe this song can be interpreted as a woman wanting to stay but constantly making up excuses mm. as why she shouldn't. Hello, does anyone watch, um, is anyone on Tinder? <laughs> is anyone on any dating app? Like, oh, no, 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 I can't come over. I'll be there in 10. Well, let's just do drinks. Oh, no, let's do dinner. Like, right. hello. Um, do you really think it has a place? Does it, does it matter? No, I obviously don't think it matters at all. And we, I mean, if people really want to get technical with song. it, I do too. That's the thing. Like, if you want it banned because you don't like the song and you hate Christmas music, that's one thing. But there's so many other songs that are played every single day that have worse undertones than uh, this. Can I just say to you, I'll just give you one thing, and they brought this up on The View the other day, Blurred Lines. Yeah. yeah. The okay, music video the way was he, not just the video, but the wording, uh -huh. it's pretty full on oh, yeah. Yeah. with what, the, what they're saying they're going to do to each other. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. And this, not just the video, I just love... I just love it. It's just classic. It is a classic. So why do we feel the need? Are we becoming too PC? Yes. It's a very slippery slope you're going down. <laughs> if you're gonna start, if you're gonna start looking at songs like this, it's like, what about other Christmas songs? What about Grandma Got Run right. Over by a Reindeer? And we were just that's a Christmas that's, song. Yeah. It is. That's a, it's talking about Santa basically doing a hit and run on Grandma. That's right. I and guess. we were talking about the other day, too. There are so many lines there. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm leaving it alone. It, well, <laughs> I mean, we had this conversation the other day. We were talking about all the other Christmas songs as well. I mean, if you want to get technical, there's plenty of them that you could take off the radio because it means something. Like, uh, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. I, I'm offended by that because now my mom's cheating with Santa because she's and kissing Mrs. him. What about Mrs. Claus yeah. and all this? So. This is the, I mean, this is the conversation you Trust could end you, up Jimmy, having. Trust think about Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I know. I'm Look, like, she sometimes get gets back left to Mrs. out. Claus. She sometimes can get left out in all this. Right. Yeah, poor Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Look, I, I really think it's a shame, and I think we need to relax. Agreed. Take a breath and relax. I don't even know, was it a Christian radio station? Was it, like I'm trying to work out why this radio station the two, and now other ones are doing it. The two that I've seen were just uh, normal radio stations, like top 40 radio stations. So what's the need? But, but they need to seriously look at this, their, 
Um, who picks the music schedules on radio? We have um, what we call a PD that does that. It's our program director. Okay. Um, and he's the one, or, or she, uh, schedules all the music. So it just depends. I mean, if it's a radio station, they could be doing it for attention. <laughs> Yeah, or <laughs> that's that's a, a ploy. Yeah. Well, it's working. Because yeah, guess absolutely. Who's Would you like it. to ban it to starting tomorrow? No. Yep, I think we're going to ban a lot of songs. Yeah, let's actually. start. <laughs> let's start a list. Okay. Tune in tomorrow morning at six a.m. Everyone, and and just we'll tick off the list. It's going to take three you'll, hours. Yeah. Of what you'll be banning, list. and we have to play those songs and give the reasons why. Right. Yeah, how's that sound? Tell us what you think. Head over to Midday Kentucky's Facebook page. Alrighty, everyone. A nurse in Missouri decided not to get an annual flu vaccine and was fired. She said she was granted a religious exemption from the flu shot when she worked for St. Anthony's Medical Center before it was taken over by Mercy South Hospital. It's a requirement to get a flu vaccination and the hospital received 170 requests for medical or religious exemptions from its 44,000, listen to that, 44,000 employees and those who were denied were told this week since the nurse still refused to get one, she was fired. Now, I get a flu shot every year. How do you two? What about you? True. I don't get one. You don't get one? I've never gotten a flu shot. Okay. Is there a particular reason why or you just feel what's the point? Mostly I feel like what's the point, but I've also heard some <coughs> uh, bad things that go along with it. I couldn't tell you what those bad things are because, you know, I kind of just throw it out. Yeah, you, know, you don't keep it in the brain. I don't keep it well, in the brain. Well, you know it doesn't cause the flu. This is something we talk about quite a bit on the show. And I, I truly believe that, you know, I'm going to get in trouble for this, that she works in a hospital, mm -hmm. okay? She should have every vaccination, mm -hmm. every checkup, every f shot that's out there. Right. Well, I know because that you're there protecting our open wounds. Right. We're in there trying to heal. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Nope, no, I th not see, in, at least for me, I never gotten a flu shot. I don't have kids. I'm not really around all of that stuff. Like, I don't have kids. I'm not going to be working in a hospital where there are people coming to me who have a weakened <laughs> immune system, potentially. Yep. Like, I feel like, like you said, you put it perfectly with her working in a hospital. Yeah, and I that's usually why they're required to have it. It's because well, they are on, around Well, just me. remember, there was a, a, only 170 out, out of 44,000. 44, what is that, yeah. less than 2%? So, less than and those 170-something, she was asked, yeah. you either do this or you are going to be fired. And I just think to myself... You know, a lot of companies now are getting rid of sick days. Mm -hmm. You know how you had normally five or ten sick days a yeah. year? Yeah. And they now call them PTOs. You know, so if you, you know, there's a question when that came in of, well, will people still come to work when they're sick and infect everyone else anyway because they are no longer have sick days, you can take them as holidays. So if you have two weeks granted in your holiday uh -huh. work, then you have an extra week. You huh. see, because you had five, six days. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know whether it's a good idea? Um, would you, how, would, how would you feel if your boss came to you right now and said, by the way, we've got 50 staff and we're, we're implementing flu shots for everyone? Would you just do it? Um, now, at this point, given that I was already, I already had the job, I'd probably be upset about it. But if I was going into the job knowing that I had to have a flu shot, I would get the flu shot. If okay. that's, I mean, Even if new owners came over, because this is what happened. New owners at the hospital came in. Oh. Well, I mean, I think that they're taking away her right, and we are okay. owed that right. Okay. See, I would, I would probably just get the shot. If it came down to it where it was like my job and my livelihood and my family, me making money for them, and it's something like a flu shot where, at least for me, I don't have any values that would tell me not to get it. Yeah. I'm just not getting it just because I don't like shots. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't like needles, so I don't want to get a shot. But if I was forced to, I'd be like, okay. So when you're on here next, we're going to get a doctor to give you a flu shot. Ah. All righty, everyone, tell us what you <laughs> think. Major and teaser. Over, head over to Midday Kentucky. All righty, dating app in... Um, okay. Mandy, you're going to like this one. Okay. Even though you're married. <laughs> dating apps are causing women to freeze their eggs. Why? Uh -oh. Research states it's because they believe men who use those apps don't want to settle down. It goes on to explain that apps like Tinder allow men to date people younger than them, so women their age are freezing their eggs so they still have time to be mothers. Egg freezing rates have more than quadrupled since 2010, despite the procedure's price tag of roughly 10,000 bucks. Can I just say to you, if you're on Tinder, you're not dating. <laughs> you're there for a reason. Re see, I'm... I Find friends. Right. Just go out and have a cup I of coffee. You. Yeah. Yeah. 
See, I've never been on Tinder. Well, I've come on. Well, you talk about this type of stuff all right. the time. This is what's going on in the world. Do you know what I mean? Those dating apps are for men and women who are just needing company for maybe an hour. Well, and I agree with that. And that's if you've got the energy. We, we just did, <laughs> you know, we do a, a segment called Second Date Update where we try to hook people back up it. together. Well, one guy went on Tinder and he didn't want to go to the movies by himself to see Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet. Mm -hmm. So he hit up this girl on Tinder and, you know, went out to this movie and didn't contact her back. She's like, I just don't understand. And he's like, well, what I just about the guy that last week that hooked up with a girl from Tinder and took her to a funeral. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As the date. I Hello. Mean, <laughs> no wonder these women are freezing their eggs. Right? Men think of everything. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'll be honest, sometimes I get a little lonely oh. and I want to go to the movies with someone. I need to get onto that Grindr app and oh. find myself a date yeah. to go to the movies. <laughs> you can, I mean, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, there you I go. don't have any eggs to freeze, but anyway. That's $10,000 to do yeah. that. Well, I do want to say something this morning. The reason why I put this up is because you were somewhere just recently, and we're talking about the dating thing. Even though you have a girlfriend, uh -huh. you weren't on the app. Right. You were somewhere, and they said that, you know, we thought you think you're really cute, but mm -hmm. we also think you're really old. You're, you're much older. <laughs> yeah, I, I weigh tables. You guys, too. And I'm 27, and I, on the receipt, they left the tip, and they said, P.S., you're really cute, but you're too old. The girls were like 22 people. Mm -hmm. So that just goes to show the ballsiness of men and women who use these apps. It and changes a lot. The feeling of what's out there is what the way I feel is for someone to write that on a receipt that you don't know. It goes to show they're probably on Tinder as well. Yeah. Yep. Like it's, it's just that movement that's just going so fast. And I also get why women want to freeze their eggs. Yes. I, I get it. I would do, do the mean? same. I mean, if I it, way back when, before I got married, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah. Well, just the culture is so much different now with dating. Before it was like you would date, you know, one person that was it, and if you started talking to them for more than a month, it's like, oh, this is probably serious. <laughs> now it's. Yeah, I'm like after the seventh message. Yeah. <laughs> You're like. I'm like, I just need to know are you prepared to <laughs> move to Lexington, <laughs> because you know this can't go past this next message. Christmas if is coming can, up, and yeah, I mean, my I family's to, expecting. I want to sort of know. If I need to buy extra gifts. Right. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, I will tell you, you know, I'm going away at Christmas time to see my brother. And he informs me this week that he's now got a girlfriend, a very serious girlfriend. And she happens to be living with him now. Uh -oh. And I said, great. Now, does that mean I have to buy her gifts? And, and her he family? said, Troy, where did you just, how did you go from there to there? I said, because on Christmas Day, I'm going to look cheap. Uh, yeah, when you will. you've got all your beautiful gifts, yeah. and she's going to have nothing. I said, what is she like? And he said, well, she's a cowboy sort of a girl. I went, oh, so not my chick. Well, I don't know what to buy her. Do you want to mean a piece yeah. of bark? Do you yeah. want to mean? <laughs> well, you could get <laughs> Maybe some they, boots they would do be have better. They, they have Maybe skip the bark for Christmas. That's more like a Valentine's Day. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah. Tell us what you think whether women really should be freezing their eggs. Okay, <laughs> this is even better. Did you see this story? Yes. All right. Apparently dogs are a woman's best friend now. A new study revealed that women sleep better next to their dogs than their human partners. Of the 962 <laughs> women surveyed, 55% shared their bed with at least one dog. Okay. 57% shared their bed with a human partner, but claimed dogs were less likely to wake them up in the middle of the night. Can I just say women? I see why you're freezing eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't need guys anymore. Yeah. <laughs> we are just fine. We got Their our dogs. dogs. Don't, hold on, don't you need guys when you freeze your eggs? I don't know. I mean, eventually. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm yeah. like, yeah. Well, kind of, yes, you yeah. do need a guy. Isn't that how it works? <laughs> He's shaking his head. He's like, Troy we can confirm off camera, yes, that <laughs> yes. is. <laughs> um, do you think it's crazy that women are preferring more to be with their four legged friend? No, not at all. I, I mean, they are better. Do you have dogs? I, we do. Do you let the dogs sleep in the bed? Yes, we, I do. I can confirm that I get kicked out to the couch more than the dog does with my girlfriend. Why? Because I guess she likes to sleep with the dog better. The dog's not as gassy, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't snore. <laughs> yeah, the dog doesn't snore. And I, get, I don't know. Do you ever cuddle so, with her? Oh, my Lord. With the dog? No, with your girlfriend. Yeah, but not as much as the dog. See, I think they're good cuddle buddies, and they mm -hmm. just, for some reason, they make you feel safe, a lot safer than the husband. Yeah. <laughs> really? For me, anyways. Okay. I don't know about that, everyone. <laughs> Tell us what you think. <laughs> we got time for one more. All righty. Um, 
While some people are dreaming of a white Christmas, others are dreaming of a warm holiday. So why not take a trip to the beach? Beautiful ones are located all around the world. And here are some that I thought were just gorgeous for us to sort of warm us up for the rest of the week. Love Let's it. take a look at some of them that we have. Uh, this Ooh. one. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know where. Oh, that's in the Greek islands. Does anyone speak Greek? I don't know how to pronounce that. Navagio. Navagio. That sounds like Palagio. Navagio. Nava I have, I no, have idea. no idea. But I would definitely go there. <laughs> It looks nice and private. No one would find me. Just call the travel uh, agent. This one is in Australia. This was number two Ooh. beach in the world. So ah. I'm doing the top five, everyone. White Haven. Doesn't that look stunning? You said this is in Australia? Yep. Have you been there? White Haven, yes, I have. Nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, El, okay, I don't know this one. What's number Ooh. three? El, El Nido. El Nido. Oh, it's in the Philippines. Love that. Looks, that. That's already a beach, is it? It looks more like a lake. No? Just a body of water. A body of water. <laughs> Number four in the world. Um, this is off. Oh. That doesn't look pretty. Look at, see, look at the dirty the sand. sand. Yeah, the looks sand looks a little brown. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether I like that one. Is it pr Where is that one again, people? Brazil. Okay. I right, got that last one. Um, and this is it. Okay. Mexico. This is, no this is number five in the world. Beaches to go to. Hmm. I think the top two, take, take me back to um, the first one if we can, because it looked bloody stunning. It, so look at that. That's so pretty. That's yeah. number one. Why would it those other beaches, one it and doesn't two, get any better. let's just go to that. Greece and, and Australia, everyone. I'm down. What do you think? Yes, let's do that. Hey, thanks for joining me. Hey, thank thanks you for having us. You're going to be back here tomorrow. I will be, yes. You're going to tell me what Christmas songs you ban? <laughs> yep, I will. <laughs> we'll have the full sure. list. We'll have the you full gotta list. You've got to help me come up with a list, though. So. Like, well, we appreciate you. If you want to turn it into some funny people, everyone, at 6 a.m. every morning, tell them who We're you are, funny. where you're from. You're 106. <laughs> you're 106.3, yeah. Um, website? You're 106.3.com. That's the way it is. And Jimmy in the afternoons. Yep, 2 to 6. Drive, drive home to pick the kids up with Mr. Jimmy, everyone. Coming up, it's Pillow Talk with, you know her, Kristen Marks. See you soon.